Perhaps some other time. I hope you drop them dead. <laughs> I am sure I shall soon enough. a man in uniform way I hear it. <laughs> You're only gonna have to shovel that as manure later. Talk to you. All right, I guess. Glad to hear it. Put one of those in your silver dollar, will you? What are you doing? Going fishing. The river's around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Uh, I can't fish with you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Come on. The fish should be hungry for their dinner. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. Yeah, come on. Been a while since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, <laughs> already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This, this is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. 
If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you... You don't feel like, well... That he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is one without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves. What they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. We'll cut through to the right here. Arriba! The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Okay, it's just down the hill here. Try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way. Time of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. We're lucky, we got such nice weather. But rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Well, I guess it's still relaxing even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman. Especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of mine. Here. Crickets. Thanks.
He's a fighter. Trick is, let him tire himself out. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. Okay, let's try for another. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah, it was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We opened the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Home O'Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Mean Street got meaner and Dutch. Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Another one. We got one! Come on. Look at that. That's a good-looking fish. Well done. Don't rush it, Arthur. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Oh, keeping you. It's getting close to nightfall. Fish will stop feeding soon. Let's catch a couple more and then head back. My bag is getting full. Another one. You're better than you let on. You got this one. Good job, Arthur. Not bad, you see? It's the bait. <laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me, or uh, you keep trying for these bastards? I'll come. Okay, let's go. Lenny and I raided a big old house in the swamps, stole some guns. Good work. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. Well hidden. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then. from 
me. To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Gladly. Things is all right. That's what I like to hear. Kieran, Kieran. Good morning. You heard from any O'Driscolls? No, of course not. I've been here with you a lot. If you do, you make sure you tell us, okay? All right, then. Morning, dear. Morning, Arthur. You again. You had a lucky day last time. Want to stack up? Woo. 
Got fresh rounds in my rifle and strong coffee in my gut. What'd you say to another game? Won't say no. Let's fire off a few. Happy days. Just like last time, whoever shoots the most bottles wins. All right, stand alongside me. Soon as you pull your weapon to aim, we let fly. Okay, go. Ah, damn it! You ain't lost to losing, I take it. Here you go. As promised. Thanks, friend. Careful now. Next time I may not hold back. Nice shooting. Guess I just had the edge in the end. Yeah, right. Enjoy your win while it lasts. Oh. 
Okay, fella. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Major, watch, pistol. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam.
June 7th, 1855. Dear Sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey any time. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Okay, where is all this old crap? Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. Ah, uh, a trap door, huh? <laughs> what you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it! Damn it. Oh, come on, Dan! Where are you going? Oh. Come on! It's ours! <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, that'll be the pistol. Uh, just the ledger now. Stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. <laughs> June 64. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh... Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20.
Let's go, boy. They threw us away like, like shit on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just... It's all... Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride. The respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh, man. Some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are pissing What off. are you doing? That's that's my history. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist. Oh. God. Time to go, boy. Get him.
Gives me the creeps, always has done. <laughs> me too. But we could do well here. My, I hope so. not a charade it feels, lame, dressed as it feels like we're living with ghosts. It feels, to me, it feels like what I've always said. America is man set free for good and bad. And this place, oh, this is the bad. All these people are one and Arthur. And they have always been. No, it isn't that. They're good people here. Good and bad. Sad thing is, good people do bad things. <laughs> like us? Exactly. Morning, Arthur. Just like us. But we. My daddy. We fought these people. Sure. And they were fighting something else, and they did bad things. Such is the world. Why is it like that? I have always wondered. Why ain't we better? Now that... That I don't know. Me neither. Howdy do! Me neither. Hi, Mary Beth. Morning, Arthur. Doing a good job there. Thank you. Sorry, shouldn't distract you. Sure thing. Dutch, let's hope for a good day. Miss Grimshaw, are you girls nearly finished with that? Mr. Escuela, not yet, Morning, Miss Grimshaw. Arthur. Well, hurry it along. Morning. Oh, hey. Mr. Morgan. 
I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. Thank you, but you were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan! The people are happy and well fed. I think perhaps we'll be okay. Here's hoping, Pearson. And perhaps we shall make it to the sea after all. How I miss it. It's flatness. <laughs> Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Hey. Sorry, got nothing for you right now. Mr. Pearson, Reverend. When are we eating, Pearson? Stay away from me. Oh, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. <laughs> it always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning oh. barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yep, yep. Okay, Arthur.
escape, Pearson. Mr. Morgan! Morgan! Reverend? Hello! Hello. What do you want? I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. Okay, well, let's talk more later. I suppose. We need to talk to you. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if you're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right. I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm going to be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. All right. Let's go.